Union ya National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa ya kwa ntezi di kantorong tse sentin za mwafanyo wa ditsebele tso kampanya di besi ya patko pijana akajeno mwando ona upetue mwule mwonga utlaisa di loza wa sebezi tse akareza nkitle waya nyumsa ya hore patko yi wetlisi tse miputo ya basebezi babang mwo elang leka tsuaro empe ya basebezi basa imisitwe musebezi ngajwale nyumsa ifile keta pele ya patko matazi ya mashano ho arabi lindi kitle wongza yona mwo ikalusi tse ngure ibang patko isa arabi le karabelong ya yona itlo le bana le pela di falla ho salujo le nomsa e bolela ha itlo ke nya tletle e bole kantorong ya ditukelo tsa botho ya Afrika borwa tsorong e bohlaswa mibile e sithabetsa maikutlo ya basebetsi Members of the National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa took to Patco Santen offices earlier today to hand over its memorandum of demand. The union alleges that the bus company management treats suspended workers inhumanely. NUMSA also cites racism and salary issues. We demand that Patco must accept medical certificates as proof of illness. We reject the demand for doctors to provide affidavits disclosing private information of patients. We demand that Patco must stop victimizing NUMSA shop stewards. So far, four of our shop stewards have been dismissed. We are giving Patco management five working days to respond to our demands in writing or we will be forced to take further action. One of the workers who was suspended for the salary increase picket that happened in 2022, who asked to be unnamed, says that she was dismissed without any hearing following the late submission of her sick note to headline manager at Padco. The employee says that the suspension has heavily affected her as she's been unable to pay for her car and that it has caused her to retrogress a lot. 27 December 2023. Yes, last year. And how did they dismiss you? In which form were you given hearings? Were there any meetings? No were hearings. They, they, say, they say my, my sick note delivered to them later. Another one of the deferred workers from Padco who got injured whilst sitting at what he says is an unconducive working area in the Padco warehouse in Soweto said that he was taken to hospital by the bus service company, but to date they refused to pay him his salary. I don't charge a bang is a spit bang 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 is a special. A special baby look being landed in board. Being is a special being on holy, being is a special being on holy. Meanwhile, Padco spokesperson Linda Gushekulu, who received the memorandum, dismisses some of the allegations, claiming that they are untrue. The reason why we brought them back, we amended their suspension conditions, is because some of them were found to be working secondarily uh, in other places, while at Padco, in breach of their contract. Others were found to be uh, uh, actually uh, not uh, reporting to the CCMA inquiry, which delays that particular process, which was supposed to be an expedited process in the first place. So the reasons they are there to say that even when we try to reach out to them, the uh, messages from the company return unanswered. You can't find them, you can't get a hold of them. What do we do as a company? We exercise our lawful right to say that they can come back, they can stay in our premises. And it's funny that Numsa would say that these premises are not conducive. Furthermore, he emphasizes that the company stands by its position that it does not want its employees back, but are keeping an eye on the Section 188A CCMA inquiry. Numsa has given Padco five working days to respond to its demands in writing, threatening to take further action should it fail to do so. Debo Khotabane, reporting for Soweto TV News in Senten.